Are we ready? Hi, hi everybody, hi. Guess what? I passed the audition. And you know what that means? It means that I get to spend every Wednesday reading stories with you. I'm so excited, yay! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Today, I'd like to read a book that's very important to me. And I hope that you'll find it important too. It's called, It Feels Good to Be Yourself, a book about gender identity. Okay, yay, let's get reading. <sighs> Magic helper hand. This is Ruthie. She's a transgender girl. That means when she was born, everyone thought she was a boy until she grew a little older, old enough to tell everyone that she's actually a girl. Girl is Ruthie's gender identity. This is Ruthie's brother, Javier. Javier is a cisgender boy. That means when Javier was born, everyone thought he was a boy. And as he grew older, it turned out everyone was right. He is a boy. Boy is Javier's gender identity. There's so many different ways to be a boy or a girl. Too many to fit in a book. But not everyone feels like either a boy or a girl. Non-binary is a helpful word that can describe a kid who doesn't feel exactly like a boy or a girl. This is Ruthie's friend, Alex. Alex is both a boy and a girl. When Alex was born, everyone thought Alex was a girl, but Alex is both boy and girl. This is Alex's gender identity. This is Alex's friend, JJ. JJ is neither a boy nor a girl. Ever since JJ was very little, they never felt exactly like a boy or a girl. They just felt like themselves. This is JJ's gender identity. Alex and JJ are both non-binary. Just like there are many different ways to be a boy or a girl, there are many different ways to be non-binary too many to fit in a book. Some kids don't feel exactly like a boy or a girl. They feel like neither. Some kids feel that their gender identity isn't always the same. It's often changing. And even with all these possible ways to be, some kids don't feel any of the words they know fit them exactly right. There are a never ending number of ways to be yourself in the world. Whether you feel like a boy or a girl, both or neither, or if you describe yourself in another way, that is your gender identity. Your gender identity might match what people thought you were when you were born, or it might not. See, when you were born, you couldn't tell people who you were or how you felt. They looked at you and made a guess. Maybe they got it right, maybe they got it wrong. What a baby's body looks like when they're born can be a clue to what the baby's gender will be, but not always. 
When people guess wrong, it's okay to let them know. Ruthie was five when she told her parents, I know you think I'm a boy, but really, I feel like a girl. Oops, Ruthie was a girl all along. They just didn't know it at first. When people guess right, it's also okay to let them know. Javier was three and a half when he told his family, I'm a boy. I like being a boy. You might feel like, like a boy. You might feel like a girl. You might feel like both boy and girl or like neither. You might feel like your gender changes from day to day or from year to year. You might feel that none of these words describes you perfectly. You might not be sure yet. Maybe you're still figuring it out. Your feelings about your gender are real. Listen to your heart. No matter what your gender identity is, you are okay exactly the way you are. And you are loved. It feels good to be yourself, doesn't it? <sighs> Thank you so much, everybody, for sharing this special book with me. I'm so happy you could come. And remember, when we see each other next Wednesday, they, them pronouns, please. Bye, bye, bye.